I'm so excited. Today I'm talking to a corporate lawyer and I'm really, 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 really excited to kind of ask him some questions, basically covering our bases with legal things that I don't even know what I don't know. <laughs> and so it's good to, to ask someone who does. And so, yeah, I'm so excited to be speaking to him. One of my mentors, Ryan, he made the connection. I so appreciate it, Ryan. So yeah. Let's see what we can learn. So I just hopped off a Zoom with Rob Hera. So incredibly helpful. He spent an hour answering all of my questions. He helped think through different ways that an LLC can be taxed that you can sign up for when you file for LLC status. Definitely complicated for sure and I don't wanna do anything wrong. Like when you're selling online, you can be taxed in other states because you're doing business there. So there's like so much to think about and he's just like, it's very, very complicated sometimes. And so, yeah, I so appreciate having someone so incredibly knowledgeable in our court and like on our side and stuff. So thank you so much. All right, so tonight my dad and I are gonna go for a walk. I have my insect shield clothing on. I also had a great conversation with my friend, Brandon. He is doing so many cool things and we both have so many cool interests that are very similar. He's really into sustainability and we talk about sustainability updates. In the past, we've talked about kind of like our multimedia consumption and doing that consciously and then Today we talked a lot about the pandemic and travel and what that will look like and a lot of really good conversations were had. So <laughs> thank you so much, Brandon. I always come away with so much reflection. We were talking today also about how our conversations are this kind of moment to reflect on the last couple of months and just how we're feeling. And we always, we always have such deep conversations. So I appreciate our friendship so much and it is always a pleasure chatting with you. All right, so it is another gorgeous, beautiful day out. I know I keep saying that, but I'm just so grateful for this amazing weather that we have been having. So I've been able to sit outside, work outside, and it's been really, really lifting my mood <laughs> and really boosting how I feel. So over the past week, I've been doing like five to 10 emails per day. So I've gotten my emails now. My I have like 10 different inboxes, so it's not all of them. It's just my <laughs> Udell email, but I've gotten that inbox down to 90 emails that I have to do something with, not unread, just 90 emails flat. And I'm so proud. At the beginning of the week, I think I started with like 130 or, or somewhere in that range. And so I'm feeling really, really excited to have made so much progress with that. My unread text messages are down to zero. I am so excited. And so, yeah, that is going so, so well. And I'm just, I'm really, really feeling so much less stressed and guilty. But now I have to go through all of my other social medias, including like LinkedIn. I'm so behind on LinkedIn and I definitely still feel guilty about that. So one thing at a time, we are focused on this inbox right now. I have been focused on my text messages and we got them down to zero, so that's feeling good. So one thing at a time that we're focusing on, but that feels amazing. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been focusing on and also just doing whatever I want. Like if something comes up, okay, I'll do it. Like last night we had a bonfire and we went on a walk and it was just really, really nice. So yeah. I feel like a normal human for once, it's wild. <laughs> but I'm really, really enjoying taking time to like meditate and do some stuff for myself that I have not necessarily been doing. So yeah, it's going well. I'm really, really excited. <laughs> All right, so some really, really exciting milestones today. Today we hit $100 that we have raised for charities through Upcycle Designs cloth stickers. And so that was such an incredible feeling. Oh my gosh, we also hit 100 subscribers on our MailChimp email newsletter. So so many exciting things have happened today. There's just been like this flurry of activity and it's just absolutely been a dream come true. So, so excited to be, you know, raising money for these nonprofits and charities and to be a small business that's, you know, been successful over the last couple months with kind of a soft launch and we're kind of gearing into like a harder launch, shall we say, or just, you know, starting to really scale up. And it has just been absolutely so exciting. So I want to share the good news with you all. And yeah, I'll keep you all on this journey and we'll see where we go from here. All right, so we had a really, really chill day today. I was still catching up on emails. I'm down to 85, which I am so proud about. I'm still down to zero unread text messages or text messages I need to respond to. So we're doing really well on that. Still trying to get caught up on that email. So then I can go to some other apps like Snapchat and Instagram that I really need to catch up on the messages on those. But we're getting there. Also LinkedIn, very behind on LinkedIn, but we are getting there. I'm so proud of myself. I'm also starting to do more like 
health stuff to get my routine back in place like doing push-ups squats that type of stuff so that's been really really exciting i'm starting out at five push-ups which is since my arms i haven't been doing any arm exercises it's been kind of difficult and definitely hurts <laughs> and then we're doing 10 squats a day sorry i'm so red by the way i was just outside and it's kind of cold so i'm looking a little ready but last summer when i was at the peak of my fitness i could do 100 squats a day like not in a row but throughout the day and then 25 push-ups i think then this is at the peak of my fitness while i've had lyme disease and so i would love to get back there again and so yeah we're kind of easing into it but it was such a nice day i chatted with my grandma for a while and had a chat with my friend Maya and we haven't caught up for a very very long time so it was just nice it was a good day and I've been getting like I said a bunch of emails and work done so yeah that is the update <laughs> all right so great meeting with Margo from the SBDC in Delaware she rocked me through the operating agreement step by step no one has really done that yet and I don't know anything about like legal terms and a lot of it is just jargon to me that I don't understand and so I really appreciated her taking the time to like walk me through each step I talked about accounting and bookkeeping and pay Roll and all this different stuff. So I took a ton of notes and it's all really, really, really great information that I'm going to have to kind of take in and then come back with questions and just figure all of that out. It's, it's going to be good. I'm so excited, but there are so many like legal, like tax questions, like so many different questions for starting a company that a lot of them I hadn't even thought of before. So it's definitely a lot to process, but all good we're, we're getting there and she offered to work with us on like financial projections and, and, and creating a business plan and all of that as well so super exciting and huge shout out to Margo thank you so much <laughs> so yesterday was just a terrible day for me I heard back that I am not one of the chosen TEDx speakers at UD which is, is totally fine it was just definitely a very emotional process for me to go through and then I was experiencing a lot of imposter syndrome when I was applying so to hear back that like oh yeah like you weren't chosen definitely really amped up that imposter syndrome and that's just been one of my dreams and goals for a long time but I'll get over it it's fine I mean, it's just not the right moment and that's totally okay and there are other stuff that I can focus on and really continue to develop this idea but it was definitely just sad <laughs> just sad but it's fine so that happened yesterday and then I also had a couple bad grades come back that I was really frustrated with it was not a good day and then there's all these other like little stuff that happened and it's a pile on principle right like when one one bad thing happens and then the rest just feels like a lot so anyway that's just kind of what has been happening and i just need to get my feet back under me definitely talking to the camera for some reason helps me feel more positive and better to just kind of reflect and think aloud about stuff so when i ramble a lot it's just me thinking aloud <laughs> so i appreciate having this like opportunity to be able to do that but anyway so finished the last meeting of the day and time to get caught up on emails and messages and kind of get my day back on track all right let's do this all right, so this morning I got up early to go to the Diff Showcase, which I'm really, really excited about. All the seniors do a showcase where they showcase the project they've worked on for the past year. Next year I'll be doing mine, and so I'm really, really excited to go this year to see what the seniors have been working on with their projects and also what the showcase is like, so I'll have some kind of understanding of it next year. I'm really excited, so yeah, let's go check it out. The diff showcase was so cute oh my goodness it was so good to see so many of my friends graduating with their projects and also just seeing their journey over the last like three four years that was definitely an awesome experience because you know i've talked to my friends off and on but to really hear like their journey in you know eight to ten minutes or whatever was a really cool experience so I really appreciated that kind of reflection point and a lot of them had great advice and you know thoughts about their college experience and stuff so that was like an awesome event to go to and I'm really really glad that I was able to attend so a shout out to everyone who participated and who presented today because y'all did an amazing job <laughs> all right so I recently won an award through horn it was the Bono award for social impact which was so exciting and because I won the award horn sent me a really exciting goodie bag in the mail so first of all Sour Patch Kids. Now this is kind of an inside horn thing. In the Venture Development Center, the VDC, which is kind of our home base for horn, they always have a jar of Sour Patch Kids. And so whenever you go in, I'm definitely always eating Sour Patch Kids because it's a great snack and they are gluten-free. And so I love Sour Patch Kids. So I just thought that was so cute. They sent a little container of Sour Patch Kids. 
reminds us of, of home base. And I got some mints with Horn Entrepreneurship on it. It's very cute. Those are always good. I got a chapstick with Horn Entrepreneurship, which let me tell you, I was literally almost out. So grateful for this. <laughs> and then also a lanyard. And my favorite thing, aside from the food, because we all know Sierra loves food. Ah, look how beautiful. I have one of these in almost every color and I use them so fast because I write like everything in them. I have never gotten a purple one. So when I saw this, I was shooketh. I was so excited. <laughs> I have a dark blue one, a light blue one, a green one, an orange one. And so I'm adding this purple into the collection and I'm so excited. Look at all those fresh pages. Ooh, just so many ideas waiting to happen. So thank you so much, Horn. I appreciate you and all the free stuff that you give me. Thank you. <laughs>